is a lot of information uh, reading so obviously you will read up about the residents in their personal support plans and things you will get to know them but also you then have to shadow them because what you see on paper is not always what's reflected in day-to-day -day living what you're reading could be you know a snippet of what these guys present and you need to see the whole picture so it would be you know training reading um, and then you know doing some shadowing to build that relationship with them for you and for their benefit as well Well, I had a, a recent new starter and they'd never done a job in care before. He did struggle. Um, he did see things that he'd never saw before, like various behaviours. Um, de debriefs are essential. If you're not used to this type of behaviour, um, it is really important that you go through that with staff. You explain why and what causes these behaviours and what we can do as a team to reduce the behaviours um, and that's where reducing restrictive practices come in so you know this is why we do it this way this is why we do it that way so it's very important you know that you go through each procedure with new staff so that it doesn't scare them or upset them in any way whatsoever um, as soon as they have time to process that, they start having more of an understanding of autism.